terrain, terrain. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. If you are a pilot, then you pray that you never hear this. Pilot or not, everybody should know about the height, altitude and elevation. So what is height? Height of the building from the nearest ground level. Height of a person from the sole of his feet. Height is objective, independent of where it is being measured from. If a person's height is 6 feet, it will remain 6 feet, no matter if he stands on a chair or on top of Mount Everest. But yes, age and time has its own effect on everything and everybody. Elevation is generally referred to the ground level above the mean sea level. For example, Denver's elevation is 5280 feet or 1609 meter above mean sea level. That's why it is known as mile high city. But the elevation is dependent on correct measurement of mean sea level, which can change. Global warming and even the atmospheric pressure can change the elevation of a place. Global warming, of course, will raise the sea level and every 10 millibar of pressure change will cause the elevation to increase or decrease by 100 meter. And that's why every pilot will always inquire about the local atmospheric pressure before they land on any airfield. Altitude usually refers to something high up like an aircraft in flight or a spacecraft in orbit. There are however at least three different types of altitudes. Mean sea level altitude is height of the aircraft above the mean sea level. It is essentially the same baseline measurement as elevation except it typically refers to something in flight or submerged in water but above seabed. Density altitude is the MSL altitude corrected for temperature and atmospheric pressure. The warmer or hotter the temperature, the higher the density altitude. On a hot summer day, a sea level airport right near the ocean can have the same density altitude as another airport whose MSL altitude is a thousand feet higher. You see the danger here? A pilot landing in thick fog and even at night will find it extremely difficult to land without the ILS support. Above ground level altitude is the aircraft's height above the ground. While an aircraft is holding a specific MSL altitude, the above ground level altitude will vary depending upon the elevation of the terrain that it is flying over. All aircraft are fitted with a radio altimeter. It works on the principle of a radar, which warns the pilots if terrain comes up within a certain limit. This system is known as GPWS or Ground Proximity Warning System. And that's what you heard at the start of this video. Now this height, elevation and altitude are very confusing, especially with uh, varying sea level and atmospheric pressure. What if we could have something fixed, like a fixed datum? A GNSS system gives a more permanent solution and GNSS height is independent of atmospheric pressure and temperature. A GNSS system uses a mathematical model of Earth's surface. In one of the model, we define Earth as an ellipse with polar axis and equatorial axis. And all height is considered from this ellipse. This is ellipsoidal height. In another model, we use Earth's gravity to define the mathematical model of the Earth's surface. This model is called geoid and the height measured from geoid is called, no, not geoidal height, but orthometric height. So what is geoid height? It is the height difference between the ellipsoidal plane and the geoidal plane. You see, the ellipsoid and geoid are fixed and not dependent on anything, but of course, except time. So these orthometric heights and the ellipsoidal heights are the best references for height measurement and they are called the vertical datums. 
and the good thing is that your GNSS system will always show you the orthometric height and the ellipsoidal height. All you need is a good reliable GNSS system and a subscription to this channel. Now of course you need to have a precise terrain map and the height of the land. But you need to make sure if the terrain map is showing ellipsoidal height or orthometric height because there can be a huge difference between them. In case if you are wondering, the height of the side scan towfish or ROV or diver from the immediate seabed below is also called the altitude. Share this video with your friends and leave a comment below. It's been an incredible 5 years journey and I am really grateful for the subscribers and my dedicated channel members whose encouragement has kept me going. Thank you. Watch this videos next if you want to know more about datums and heights. If you like this kind of a video, then please subscribe. Stay curious and always ask questions. I'll see you in the next video.